fellas, fellas, fellas. Got a little package in the mail today. And I uh, was going to show it to you, but I've misplaced it. I don't know what I did with it. Oh well, until I figure it out, let's uh, work on something else. <laughs> Pretty nice stuff, huh? Love this color. See how it matches my hobby room? Look at those green ceiling back there. That's right. Classic Plastic 101 ceiling. <laughs> well, Chris, buddy, I haven't seen a video from you for a while. I'm having withdrawal symptoms, but I know you're hurting, and I'm sorry. I prayed the best for you. Um, I uh, hope you're doing better, and that uh, all that medication they're putting you through is working. I know the side effects are brutal. Been there on some of that myself. Anyway, buddy, you get well soon. And I mean real soon because, you know, we have a birthday coming up. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Cortell and I have the same birthday. And we both love to get presents, hint, hint. So, you know, you go ahead and feel free to send us whatever. <laughs> oh, Chris's build. I'm getting some of the engine done. Let's turn the camera this way so we're not facing me here. Um, i got some of the little things painted there. Some of the belts and dashboard and little bits here and there. Um, seats. This thing had a pretty neat little decal for the top, but um, even with all the solva set on it, it still um, kind of wrinkled it a bit. I probably should have put some uh, slits around it or something. To I would imagine that would have helped. <clears throat> if you guys have any ideas on that, if that's what I should have done, let me know. Um, got a few things. <laughs> I got this orange paint today from uh, those um, oh, the new Rogue One kits, like the Adat has uh, orange doors, and I thought this orange rust looked like a good good orange for those orange pieces on several of those new models. Um, also grabbed some liquid decal film. I haven't got the decal paper yet, but I want to start making making my own decals, and uh, so I started with this decal film. I'm also going to get some of the testers and see which one works the best. Uh, some of these pieces here, the belts and things, I got some uh, some of this rubber black I've been using on those on those pieces. Um, Hobby Lobby, real close to the hospital. I had my iron treatment today in Hobby Lobby, just a couple lights down. Um, I found this mirror for three bucks. It was in their clearance aisle. I put it on this and then I make a spinning thing for the you know for when I show a model the mirror helps a lot of you guys have mirrors it looks pretty cool um, Mr. Cortell uh, showed some plastic uh, nail polish holders like for your paint uh, that were like in a tier a couple of steps that he got at the dollar store well of course our dollar store doesn't have them so I found a little one on Amazon and I ordered it and that came today too with this other stuff it's a uh, I haven't opened it yet, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh dear. It's got screws. What the heck? This is, I gotta know you have to put it together. Oh well. Uh, I guess that's what it's gonna look like here. You feel like the sides. Let's see what's in this. Oh, it's definitely bigger than I thought. Yeah, good. So I had a whole mold paints over there. I'm gonna do a shop tour one of these days soon. And I also picked up for that 40% off coupon. I got me a Titanic. I was holding out for a big one, and I thought, you know, I just don't have the room. Let's just get a smaller one. This had the holes already drilled out and stuff for the for lighting it and things like that. So I went ahead and scarfed that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I found this liquid glass, so I just thought I'd I'd pick it up, see what it was all about. And I just happened to see it on Amazon. When I was looking at stuff, and um, it's it's clear, you know, like the uh, like the Alclad clear, and, and some of the other milky glass. What are they called? Uh, Micro crystal clear and stuff. Um, the difference is this. Oh, pfft, make a mess, Thorn. This stuff's really thick. 
And so, like, when you do a dashboard or something, if you want the, the glass to look beveled, you know, like, bumped up, this stays in a bubble form. I did it on a piece of, I don't know what I did with it, but I, I practiced with it on a piece of plastic. And it stays bubbled up. It doesn't flatten out, you know, or fill in. So if you want your your dashboard um, speedometer and stuff to look beveled or, or with the bubble of glass, this stuff looks great. I'm going to try it on this... Uh, on this dashboard of this 68 when I get around to the dashboard and see how it works on that. Um, I, I also got this stuff a while back. I don't know if I ever showed it. Um, it's a clear glossy coat that you can actually dip. Um, oh, okay, I'm stuck. Anyway, it's uh, it's that milky stuff. I think it's just like the Alcled, um gloss also it's just milky you don't want to shake it up because it'll be a mess um, but it's in a big enough container that you can dip your glass and things like that in it um, I don't think I showed it the last time this little Millennium Falcon I did um, the back the, the the blue parts here in the back can I line this up where you can see it no that's too much light anyway that blue part there in the back I did with the Molotow pens and then I painted it with the blue um, clear to me a blue clear and I just took the whole piece and dipped it in this glass and it you can't really see it good on camera but it turned out really good uh, so anyway I I kind of like it um, I need to do it now that was covered with blue so you really couldn't tell but I need to do it with just the silver and see because I know when you clear the stuff it you kind of lose your chrome finish uh, <clears throat> haven't tried that yet anyway that was it. I just wanted to show off my new digs and uh, say God bless you, Chris, and get well soon, buddy, um, so we can enjoy our birthday. Ha! All right, guys, you have a great rest of your week. God bless you, and make it so.